some new things to start happening in your life. Praise God. This month, I'm ordaining for a particular hallelujah reason. I'm going to hallelujah call it the beginning of seasons for you. Praise God. God just tells Moses and Aaron, this is going to be the first month of your year. Praise God. Now, my friend, when I started reading this verse, I had a lot of questions coming into my mind. I started asking myself, how can God say something like this? So simply, hallelujah. He's not first, he should have firstly inquired whether it is January or March or June or October. Which month is this? And that should have been the first question God asked. Only after that should he have said, hallelujah, this is going to be the first month of the year. And because if it was October and God said something like this, how can that word ever come to pass? The calendar is standing against it. The timings are wrong. Hallelujah. How can something begin in October? Hallelujah. That was the question that came to my mind. Hallelujah. And suddenly, when I voiced this doubt in the presence of God, God started speaking to me and saying this way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Son, when I decide on doing something, nothing and nobody can stop me from doing it. I've got the power to fulfill my word. And I watch over my word to fulfill it. That is what God said. Hallelujah. And when I started meditating on what he was telling me, I suddenly found great expectation inside of my own heart. 
had an expectation that things were going to change, seasons were going to shift, and something new was going to break out, hallelujah, as regards the church, as regards the congregation, as regards the individual people who are part of the church family. Praise God. And you need to understand, my friend, hallelujah, when God speaks to you this morning, hallelujah, hear this voice telling you, hallelujah, praise God, to just simply forget the old things. Hallelujah, do not remember them, that is what he is saying. And he's going to, hallelujah, you know, voice a uh, particular promise into your heart. Hallelujah, it goes this way. Hallelujah, behold, I do something new. Praise God. And this is a moment in life, my friend, when we need to start expecting new things to come our way. Got to start working in our, li in our life in a fresh new manner, whereby our experiences will change for the better. The results that have come our way, Hallelujah, whether it is me, hallelujah, good, or maybe it's me bitter in the olden times, hallelujah, things are going to change. Hallelujah. God is going to do a new thing in our life from this moment onwards. That's what we need to expect. Hallelujah. I started praising God for that promise. Hallelujah. Then God started ministering to me again. And He said, Hallelujah. The promise came to pass because how the people of Israel started doing things in obedience to God's word. God told them, take a lamb, hallelujah, wait on it for that particular moment of time, then cut it up, hallelujah, use the blood to mark your doorposts, hallelujah. All of those words were implicitly obeyed by the people of Israel. And this cooperation with God and His word, you know, that is what made deliverance possible. That is what made freedom to come into their life. And God said this way, there are a few things that I want you also to do so that you might have the new beginning in your life. You might enter into the new experiences that I have laid up for you. Praise God. And I said, God, here I am. Hallelujah. Ready to obey. Hallelujah. Why, do, why don't you have give me that instruction? Praise God. God started speaking to me. And those hallelujah words that He shared with me, those are the things that I want to share with you today. Praise God. Maybe I won't be able to go through the whole list today. Praise God. We will start off on a series. Maybe that will last one or two weeks. Hallelujah. Let's do it together. Praise God. So, hallelujah. As far as a new beginning is concerned, praise God. What is the first thing we need to understand? What is the first thing we need to do? Hallelujah. I put it this way, my friend. We need to, hallelujah, understand that sometimes, hallelujah, it is not just all the ups that come our way. Sometimes, hallelujah, pain, failure, and the like come into our life. Yeah. Praise God. Praise we should never ever disregard those hallelujah experiences, but we need to learn from that. Praise God. That is the first point that God was talking about. Praise God. Now let me tell you my friend, when I started thinking about this, hallelujah, I suddenly got to understand, praise God, that every experience in life, they don't go the same way. Sometimes, hallelujah, life gives us many unhappy experiences. We win in the things we set out to do, praise God. Our experiences, hallelujah, yield results that are, hallelujah, very pleasurable to us, very pleasant to us, praise God. But there are other times, you know, when pain hits our life. Praise God. But when I look around, and many other people who just simply disregard it, and uh, they think, you know, hallelujah, praise God, this will just simply go away. Pain will just go away. Failure will take care of itself. I do not need to regard that. Praise God. But can I tell you something? Hallelujah. I need you to understand, friend of mine, that had a pain, failure, when it does come our way, Hallelujah. If we are people who acknowledge God in all our ways, hallelujah, we need to find the hand of God that is working in these experiences also. Praise God. I am reminded of one elderly person who used to come to church uh, a few years back. He was a man who was in the photo framing business, you know. Praise God. He was also a chronic diabetic. And then his diabetes started hallelujah escalating. You know what happened? His eyesight started start suffering. And that was also something called diabetic neuropathy that he was suffering from. Whereby the sensation under his feet were almost gone. Hallelujah. He could not really feel anything there. So one day, when he opened shop, went inside, a nail stuck, got stuck inside his foot. Praise God. Hallelujah. He couldn't feel the pain. He just started walking around. 
9.30 in the morning is the open shop. Hallelujah. Got that nail stuck some, sometime then. Praise God. He closed shop at 8 o'clock in the night. 